I've been neglecting using shortcuts in Xcode for quite some time. Of course, I used the obvious one, but still there was a room for improvement. So I decided to explore Xcode a little bit and start taking advantage of all of the shortcuts that it has to offer. Today, I would like to share with you my favorite shortcuts and how I use Xcode. So you could also learn a new shortcuts and edit your code more efficiently. Okay, let's start with getting back your screen real estate. By default, Xcode presents sites panel, navigator area on the left, the inspector area is on the right, and at the bottom, there is a debug area. Of course, you can hide those just by <laughs> tapping and this one. But of course, <laughs> you need to use mouse and it's also like super slow. In order to hide debugger, hit the command shift Y. To hide navigator, just command and zero. And to hide the inspector area, command option and zero. When you will go to the settings, and by the way, settings by default uh, can be opened by pressing command and comma. Go to the behavior, running, this one, and generates output. I think that by default uh, it shows that this one is selected, shows a navigator and shows the debugger. So if you don't want to like run this each time uh, your build will start generating output, just disable this and the navigation area will not be uh, present. It will not be presented. As we are here, let's go to the navigation, navigation style. And by default, I think that the Xcode is set to open in tabs, which I really don't like. And I encourage you to set open in place. This is like the default previous version of using those tabs. So if you if you will have like open in tabs, like the default one right now, in order to actually switch between those uh, tabs, you need to like double tap here, open new one, double tap, and let's go back and open in tabs. What it does is after you will close this, open one, and if you, for example, would like to open uh, the new one, you can just hit Command T and you will open new tab, like the, the old one, the previous uh, version of those tabs, which for me, it works much, much better and I prefer it uh, to use it this way. So for example, in order to switch between those tabs using uh, the keyboard, just hit the Command Shift and the curly bracket. And Command Shift and the second curly bracket, the, the <laughs> right one, and go back, use the Command Shift and the left curly bracket. So we can just go between those tabs really easily. And yeah, I prefer it this way and I highly recommend you to use it. For quickly opening files, I like this one, Command Shift O, and then you can just type the name of the file. What is nice about this one is that you can easily open another panel on the side and just hold the option while press pressing enter. So command shift O, type the, the file name and hold option and press enter. And now you have like side by side two files open. So you can work on the implementation and have the tests on the right side. You can also open more editors next to each other just Press Command, Control, and T. You can open uh, as many as you uh, like, but yeah, it's like getting smaller, so that's like no, no, no reason. To switch between those multiple windows, uh, use the command Command J, and then you can just use your arrows and press Enter to enter the editor. But there's a simpler and much faster way to cycle between them. Just press the control and backtick. Backtick is this a little character on the keyboard. Depending on the layout on your keyboard, it may be in a different place. In order to go back, hold shift as it's a common pattern in macOS. As you can see, uh, when we will tap control and backtick, we'll go forward, next editor, and to go backward, control, shift, and backtick. When you have multiple editors open next to each other, there is a special focus mode that you can use. I don't think it's a very popular mode. It has been added uh, to Xcode not that long time ago. I use it quite often when writing tests and doing the test-driven development. 
So to open focus mode, just use the command control shift and return. As you can see, there's a focus mode. So if you will tap it, you have the same result. So we are in the this uh, editor, we have the test and to go to the focus mode, just command control shift and return. And as you can see, we are in the focus mode. To go back from the focus mode to the normal, the same, it's like command, control, shift and return. Uh, use the control backtick to go to the implementation, command, control, shift and return. And you can have like the whole real estate, there's like whole editor, which you can use. It's really handy, I really like this uh, focus mode. Okay, let's close those tests. And let's find a file inside the project navigator. In order to reveal uh, the file, use the command shift and J. As you can see, we are in this file. In order to go back to the editor, just press control and the backtick. To go back to the navigator area, press the command option and the backtick. Using this, you can also cycle between the navigator area and the editor. When you are in the navigator area, you can go, you can cycle through the files. You can also create new file, command N, and add a new file. So basically you don't need to use mouse and just type new file or switch between those files. You can do everything using the, the keyboard. Next one is obvious and well known for searching. To search in a, a file, press command F and press enter to go to the next one. But there is an alternative. To go to the next one, press the command G. It works the same as pressing the enter. But to go uh, to the previous one, tap the command shift and G. So you can go and go forward or go backwards. So you don't need to like by pressing enter just cycle through the whole file to actually go to the first occurrence. You can just uh, tap the command shift and G to go back. Which is really handy. To start searching uh, globally in the, in the whole project, you can tap this one or you can use the command shift and F to go here and start typing. When working with the SwiftUI, but not only, there is a handy shortcut for moving around the whole line. So for example, if you would like to switch the order of the modifiers, you can just tap the option, command, and the left square bracket to move it to the top. Or option, command, and the right square bracket to move it to the bottom. You can also select more lines and do the same, so option, command, and the square bracket to move more lines at the same time. I'm not a huge fan of those crazy super fast multi-cursor edits, but there is this really nice way of refactoring, so if you have like a title like this one, just press the command, option, and E, and select all of the occurrences of those of this label, and now we can just change the title, and as you can see, in all of the places it has been changed. Also, there's a different version which works in a scope, so let's get back. So, for example, if you would like to change the name of this view model, just press the Control command e and right now you are changing the name of this view model, but only in this, in this scope. So let's change it, for example, to model and this has been only changed in this scope. When you're opening multiple files and changing code in many places, there is this really handy shortcut. Press the command, control, and the left or right arrow. In this way, you can go back and forth between the files that you have opened. So let's say, so for example, you can open the tests and in order to go back, let's press the control command and the left arrow to go to the tests, control command and the right arrow. When you are editing a file in multiple places, let's just like add a couple of enters here and there. You can jump previous and back in code git changes. 
just press Ctrl and backslash to go forward and Ctrl Shift and backslash to go backward. So one of my favorite is if, for example, you would like to go to a definition of uh, a class, you can tap with the command on the class and jump to the definition. Of course, there's a shortcut for that. Press the command, Ctrl and J. When you would like to run a single unit test instead of tapping this one, you can just scroll down to the test and press the Ctrl, Option, Command and U. And your cursor needs to be inside this unit test. So after you run a test and for example you are working on the implementation, you will change something and you would like to run the same test just to check if it's still passing, it's really good for TDD. Just press the Control Option, Command and G. It will rerun the last test. Last but not least for testing, if you would like to just build without running the test, press the Shift Command and U. It's the equivalent of pressing the command plus B, but just for testing. And that's because the regular command plus B will not build your test bundle. In Xcode, you can also define your own shortcuts. For example, uh, for me, uh, I don't ever use uh, the printing inside Xcode, so the command plus P, which is for printing. I thought that I could use this one for Swift format. So as you can see, for the Swift format, format the file, I replaced it with the command P. So it replaces the printing, as you probably will never print inside the Xcode. There's one more thing, <laughs> the last shortcut that I would like to show you. I've been using breakpoints in Xcode the same way <laughs> as someone showed me like a couple of years ago, and just tapping here on the line, and to remove it, just tap it and hold. But there is a much better way, which I had no idea it even existed. So in order to add a breakpoint, just press the command and the backslash. And this way you can just add a new breakpoint. In order to remove a breakpoint, just press the same, the command and backslash. So it's basically a toggle. In order to add or remove a breakpoint, just press the command and backslash. I hope that this video will inspire you to use shortcuts in Xcode a little more often. Right now I'm trying to use Xcode without a mouse. Of course it's not always possible, but whenever I can I try to use a keyboard. That's all what I have for you today. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.